Travel plans to China have all been worked out. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. giant statue and you can bet the panda king lit the fuse i've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice job breaking into the Panda King's compound. I think I've figured out a way to get to the top of that giant statue. But unfortunately, it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. station use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire right on I'll keep him covered I'm going in sly no! <laughs> Oh! 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 Oh!
documents from the Panda King's lair. I'll upload the data straight into your binocucom. the trajectory of these rockets and I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Mm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time.
doing down there? Well, I'm minding my post when I notice a snow cone stand, and I think to myself, hey, Murray, you gotta keep your energy up. So I hurry over here, and then all of a sudden, monkeys are everywhere, bugging me to race them three times around this track for a key. You could use the key. Think you could take them? Come on, Sly, they're a pack of monkeys. How can I lose? All right, remember. Steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boosts you collect. Keep clear of those icy patches. Thanks for the advice, Sly, but trust me, I got this under control. Raccoon. How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice.
Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you... You're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. What? I... What? No! Fiery Week! Fiery Week! Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus 
gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the teen van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move.